Welcome back to John Dowland. Ooh, things have taken a turn. Variation five, starting on a B7 here, which is an unusual, but not really if you know that we are heading to the end. So now we start to see lots of extras being added into here and some stuff from the first two variations sneaking back in. Dowland is trying to tell us something. So let's dive into this video to find out what it is. Welcome to the next variation. Here we go. This time, because we're heading towards the end, we're actually starting on a B7, the five of our E minor. So it's this. Because we're gonna be heading home. So anyway, here we go. One, three. E, open. Then I suggest two, three for the B minor. Four, two. So that you can leave that three third finger down, you see it's there as an anchor. Resolve to E, and then back to B7 again. Here's that little scale fragment. E minor. Now, here we go, I love this bit. One and four, two. One, three, four. All open, and then I suggest three, four, one, zero. Put it on and then third finger goes up, open, three, one, one, three, four, big stretch. Leave it on for as long as you possibly can, then come back down, two, one, four, stretch out D sharp, two, open, four, one, two, open, three, two again because we're going to get into one and three. Then moves into this fantastic G major. Three, and then here we go. Material we've seen way back in variation one and two. Open, one, three, two, one hinge bar, B7 scale. E major this time, and then down. So now we're getting repeat material. Thank you very much for staying until the end. The next video in this series is gonna pop along just about now. There are loads of extras to this lesson as usual. Check the links below. Or even if you're feeling brave, head off onto the internet to classicalguitarrocks.com where there are more lessons just like this. This has been your daily dose of six string inspiration from Rain at Classical Guitar Rocks.